everybody welcome to another video today I thought it would be fun to share with you um, some of my current favorite pens for working in my art journal um, I go through all kinds of different pens and supplies I use everything from high-end to low-end and I have some current favorites that I've really been enjoying using and so I'm gonna share with you what those are and then um, I am going to work through my art journals the completed page using those pens just so you can see how I like to mess around with my pens. Just like everything in my art journal, I feel like it's important to remind you that when I work in an art journal, it is not um, for creating like a masterpiece or something that gets hung on the wall or something that I even sell in my business. It is actually a place where I work through ideas and experiments and shapes and practice and color. And that sense of play and practice applies to pens as well. I love using a variety of markers and pens um, to experiment and play around with ideas and really just practice in the pages of my art journal. So I'm going to share with you my current favorites and um, show you how I like to put them to use. So let's get started. All right, so I am going to show you what I carry around with me in my pencil supply pouches um, when I am specifically working in my art journal. So just side note, these are pencil pouches that I make with my designs. I'll put a link um, in the description if y'all are interested in seeing all the different designs I have, but I love creating different kinds of pouches. I actually depend on pouches. I carry them around with me everywhere with my different supplies. Um, this one is specifically like my little art journaling pen pouch and then I have one separate for my white pens. Um, so we will go through, I'm just gonna talk about I think my favorites that I've been using right now and then I'm gonna play around with them in my art journal so you can see how I like to use pens in my art journal which is typically just like doodling, creating surface design or patterns, kind of layering some of these different supplies. So I'm just gonna dive into what I've got. I'll do a little a little swatch down here just to see and then again I'll get creative in my art journal. So one of my favorite drawing doodling pens is a Micron black pen. Um, I like a size 8, a 6, or a 5. I have a lot of 8s um, because, I don't know, I, they're just my favorite size. It's what I am most comfortable with. But I love Microns because they are waterproof, which means I can draw and then work over the top of them with wet media. That is something I do all the time with watercolors. Oftentimes I will draw out my design and then I'll paint over the top of it. And because this is permanent or it is waterproof, those lines will not blend or bleed or blur. So I love a Micron. I, I use them all the time. They're just a great drawing pen. So nothing fancy, nothing special, but oh my goodness, I have so many of these on hand. Typically somewhere between a size five and eight um, is what I'm comfortable with, but you can get these in all sorts of different sizes, colors, but I stick to black because I do a lot of drawing and line work in the color black. Um, when it comes to permanent pens, I am just a good old fashioned Sharpie gal. I if, if you were to, like, if I were stranded on a desert island and somebody said you get one supply, I'd probably pick a Sharpie. Um, I have a lot of these chisel tips on hand, kind of the larger Sharpie, um, because I like layering my markers and pens. So I really like just a larger Sharpie. Um, you're going to see when I work through my art journal why because I like to layer things on top of those Sharpies. I also really like these king size Sharpies. Um, they're even bigger. I can just get, I don't know, a lot of coverage with the larger Sharpies and they're permanent so I can work over the top of them with wet media. But I love just a normal fine point Sharpie. I have so many of these, I don't even know if these are running out. I, I will use them even when they're dried out. Um, I will kind of use them for shading or adding lighter lines. So I always have just tons of Sharpies on hand. They're basically everywhere in my life. Sharpies everywhere. Um, 
Something else I really like are the Crayola markers. I know a lot of people out there are like, what, those are for kids, but no, not me. I I just love Crayolas. I have found um, if you're wanting a water-based marker, so these are not permanent, they dissolve with water, and I'm gonna show you that really quick. Um, they just have great pigment, and they are affordable. I just think that they're just fun. And you know, those of you who know me and know my philosophy when it comes to art will know that I do not ever want to be precious with my supplies and there have been so many chapters in my life where I have been working on a budget and I have only had money for maybe a pack of Sharpies and a pack of Crayolas and that's what I get creative with so I love Crayolas so much um, and I love them because I can make use of them being dissolvable with water. So you can literally add water. There are a lot of pens you can do this with. There are even watercolor markers, um, but if you're on a budget, this is a really great way to play around with water-based pens that are dissolvable. So I have quite a few videos um, here on my channel where I use pens to create a background. Um, I use doodles. I'll actually, you know what, I'll put a couple of those in the, in the description as well, just so you can see how I like playing around with some cheap markers. But I always, I this is for real, um, as a seasoned artist is somebody who uses just about everything from high end to low end. I always have Crayolas in my supply pouches because they're really fun to take on the road or outdoors where um, you don't need like your whole set of watercolors or tons of ink. You could basically just have a couple of colors, um, a water brush or a water vessel and a brush and be good to go with really playing around with not only pens and drawing but also pigment and painting. So I always have these on hand. I've got so many, plus I can share them with my daughter and it's okay if things get wrecked because they're pretty affordable. So Crayola also makes really cool brush pens. Right now I am loving brush pens for drawing and creating surfaces filled with pattern. So I am loving these Crayola brush pens. I, I don't know, I, I just, my Patreon community, I did a little live stream where I did an unboxing and played around with these and they can vouch for it. I was so excited when I opened them because I had not used them yet. This was a product that I had not tried. Um, they are so great. Especially um, if you're somebody that likes a brush pen, um, hand lettering, calligraphy. I'm not a hand letterer, but I do like using brush pens for drawing and doodling, um, surface design, pattern, and these are just great. They're like kind of juicy, um, and I have used them for quite a while now. My daughter's been using them, and they are lasting longer than I anticipated. So this is an affordable option. If you're looking for like a set of brush pens that are affordable, like to use in your art journal, or for different creative projects. I am just loving these so much. I love them so much I actually ordered like a giant pack of them with more colors. So Crayola brush pens, another one of my faves that is always in my supply pouch. These are also water soluble, so again, you can dissolve those lines if you want. Um, I use them more for the drawing process than I do pigment, but they are just super fun, really, really affordable. Another one of my favorite pens is the Tombow brush pen, um, but it's like the duo brush pen. So you've got a, a brush on one side, and then you've got another drawing pen on the other side. So I love these, they're a little bit spendier, but same thing as like the Crayola brush pens where you've got that brush tip, I like to use it the same way I use my paintbrush. I can use you know, the tip of the pen or I can push it down to create a, a broader stroke. They're just super fun to use and really, really versatile. These are not cheap, they're a little bit higher end, but I love them, the colors, they come in all kinds of really great colors. And then you've got two different tips that you can use um, in your process. So. I love you know, having supplies that I can push. I often have um, a handful of the black Tombow brush, dual brush pens on hand because this is basically all I need for playing around and drawing because I've got that two for one situation. But they make all kinds of really great colors. Um, I have a handful that I've been using lately. I think my daughter stole some too, but these are also water soluble pens. So again, they are pens that you can add 
water to if you want to dissolve and use as pigment. Um, I typically use these um, for drawing. So I just I just want to show you how you know, with your permanent pens, you're not gonna be able to dissolve that pigment. But with those water-based pens, you always have that option. So they are great for drawing, but they're also great for pigment. Again, if you're working on a budget, I always like to tell people this is a great way to just have a two-for-one situation going on. You can draw with them and you can use them as ink or paint. Um, I also really love these Stabilo marking pens. These are great for me personally because I do so much line work and while I love working with black ink and black pens, um, these are fun if you enjoy drawing in different colors. Um, I just love these, they're just a great pen. They last a long time, great quality pens. So Stabilo, I believe they're just their marking pens. Um, but these are another favorite of mine. I usually have a handful of colors in my pencil pouch, so I have a few different colors. I also buy, you can buy these separate too, so you don't have to buy them in a pack. You can buy um, and pick your colors. I actually have a ton of black on hand because I like them for drawing as well. I really like collecting um, simple pens that I'm comfortable using in a variety of different sizes so that I can get a lot of variety in my line work when I'm drawing or creating surface design. Recently I tried out these Zebra um, brush pens. I think they're, they're sets of metallics and these are phenomenal. And these are wonderful over a dark surface. Um, or white, you can't really, I mean, right here it's a little bit tricky to tell, but I did use these in one of my art journaling videos here on my channel, um, but they are great if you really enjoy metallics. This is another like juicy brush pen. Um, I just, I they're just a great, I was actually really surprised. I had never heard of this brand. I ordered them to test them out. Um, I have a pack of like gold, copper, and silver. They are wonderful. So zebra metallic brush pens. I love using over the top of like a dark background, which I will um, show you as I work in my art journal with these pens. But this is another favorite that I've been carrying around with me for a uh, at least a month or two playing around with. Um, and then let's talk white pens really quick. Okay, so I just grabbed my art journal, just flipped to a page that has just a simple background that I'll eventually be working over the top of with some darker areas of paint. Um, and that is where I enjoy using white pens. So my most favorite, and is one of the questions I get asked the most frequent, my most favorite white pen is the Uniball Signo white pen. I love this pen so much that I keep an entire pouch just dedicated to white pens. Um, and this is just a little bit <laughs> of my supply of these. I buy them in bulk um, because I use them so much in many of my classes and projects and artwork. But these so far are my favorite. Um, they just work really well over the top of a dark background, over the top of you know, a painted page, over the top of acrylic paint, um, black paper. I really enjoy them. Now, what I am gonna say is they're not perfect. So I've had a lot of people reach out to me and ask like, do those really work for you? Cause mine don't work. Mine, I'd say 95% of the time work great. I will get a bum pen where it just skips or it doesn't work well. There's not great coverage. Um, but for the most part, they are the most reliable white pen that I have found. They are also water resistant. So they're not gonna smear and smudge if you get them wet. Um, I don't tend to combine them with any any kind of wet media. I am typically using my white pen at the end of like a spread. So, uh, but I, it's kind of nice that they are water resistant ish um, if you do want to get like wild with layering things. So, these are. My favorite white pens, um, I always have I always have them on hand. So I will tend to order like a box of them and just go through that box over a span of days and weeks. Um, but that is the, the pen I get asked about the most. You can see how many I have um, in flux right now. I won't even show you the rest. I have like an entire drawer system with tons of pens and I've got so many of these as backups. So the Uniball White Signo Pen wonderful, phenomenal pen if you like working with white pens. My second favorite that I have a lot of and I feel like it's just really consistent are the Posca pens. Um, 
I like these for, again, same thing. Mine I actually used over the top of pink, pink paint recently, so it's a little pink. But they have great coverage. I like using them for a lot of my mark making and pattern work. Um, they make them in a variety of different sizes, so there's like really small ones, you can get detailed. They even make a brush tip in the Poscas. Um, they're just a great, great pen. Um, they also make different colors as well, so like if, I'm always looking for contrast when I'm working in my art journal, so I mostly stick to like the white, the color white, but you know, they make really great fluorescence and bright colors where you can really play around on a variety of darker surfaces. Um, but these are my two favorite pens when it comes to using like a white pen in my journal. I'm always trying, um, basically any new white pen that I can get my hands on that is on the market, um, and I've tried so many, and I just don't typically have great results. These two are my most reliable. Again, they're not perfect, but for me, they work really well. Um, they are the most predictable most of the time. You're always gonna get a bum pen. I mean, I'll even get, like some Sharpies will run out quicker than normal. I feel like no pens are perfect all the time, but when it comes to my white pens, these are the two that you will definitely see me using the most. Most. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna work in my art journal with these pens just so you can watch me. I'm not gonna talk it through. Um, I'm just gonna let you watch me play around with my favorite pens that I've been using a lot lately. My, my pens are always evolving and changing when I find a new favorite, but right now, I'd say for the last handful of months, two, three months, these are the pens that I have on me at all times um, and that I pull out and work in those art journal pages. Now, the pens and supplies I have for different projects look different, um, but these are the pens I definitely use for my art journaling process. Process. Pretty simple, um, pretty basic, but I, you know, these are my favorites. So I think what I'll do is just start on a blank page and just start playing around with my pens. Thank you. 